Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will show you how to add auction page to your app. The auction page helps you to easily tell your goods and property to the highest bidder through a public sale using mobile apps. Let's see how it's done. If you see that the auction page is already added to your app, click on it. If not, click on view all, search for auction and click on the page to add it. Existing app users can add the auction page into their app exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added auction page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library to add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Click on add auctions to continue. You will be redirected to add auction section on the dashboard. Click on this icon to go to the auction dashboard. From here, you can go to manage auctions section. Well, this option will redirect you to manage category section. Through this option, you can go to settings at section. Well, this option will redirect you to revenue section. From here, you can go to payment settings section. Well, this last option allows you to import or export auction data. On the dashboard, you can check live auctions, number of sold products, and the money earned through the auctions. If you want, you can check them on a weekly or monthly basis or based on the date of your choice. Now let's go to manage auction setting to add an auction. Under product details, first select product category. You can select the default category or any one out of your added categories. Now enter product name. Now enter estimate price. Now enter the SQU code. Now provide product description. Now enter the auction location. Click on view map to see it on Google Maps. Click on add images video to add an image or video of the product. Next com comes auction details. Here you need to first provide date duration, select the start and end date as per your choice. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to add time duration for this auction. Simply select the start time and end time to enable it. Now enter base price and reserve price under pricing. The base price is the price at which the bid starts, while the reserve price is the minimum price that you are willing to accept for your product. Now provide a value in to an increment gap field of bidding increment rules. The bidding increment rules is generally the acceptable gap between two consecutive bids. Click on plus icon to add multiple bidding increment rules. From here you can delete the bidding increment rules. Next comes auction settings. Turn on the toggle to check all the settings. If you want, you can enable or disable them as per your needs. Once you are, once you are finished, click on save to continue. You'll be redirected to the manage auction dashboard. Here you can check all the auction details. From here, you can search the auction by its name, or if you want, you can sort the auction based on the date. Click on add new auction to add multiple auctions. From here, you can start the auction. Open this menu if you want to edit, view details, create a copy, or delete this auction. Next up, manage category. Here you will see all the categories, including the default category. From here, you can search the category by its name. Click on add new category. A pop-up will appear. Provide the category name, upload an image, and click on save to add the card category. If you want, you can add multiple categories from here. On the dashboard, you can see numbers of subcategories and number of auctions under each category. Click on this option to manage subcategory. For now, there are no subcategories. Click on add subcategory to add one. A pop-up will appear. Enter subcategory name, add an image, and click on save to continue. Once you added it, you will be redirected back to manage subcategory. Here you can see the number of auctions under the subcategory. From here, you can search subcategory by its name. Click on add subcategory to add multiple categories. Open this menu if you want to edit or delete the subcategory. Click here to go back to manage categories section. 
Open this menu if you want to edit or delete the category. Next comes settings. Under settings you will see general settings, language settings, and CMS page. If you want you can change the general settings as per your needs from this section. Some settings that you can edit or update here include start auction automatically, display highest bidder name, display bid count, display current bid, currency, and much more. Once you are finished, click on save to continue. In language settings, you will see all the text alerts and messages appearing on your auction page. If you want, you can change them as per your needs. Once you are finished, click on save to continue. Under CMS page, you can provide terms and conditions and privacy policy for auction page. Once you are finished, click on save to continue. Next comes revenue. Here you can check all the revenue that you have earned through auctions. Next up, payment settings. In this section, you can enable or disable your desired payment methods. The payment method through which you can accept payments include cash on delivery, Braintree, pay with credit card over phone, credit card via Stripe payment gateway, and Velocity Pay. Once you are finished, click on Save to continue. Last but not least, Import Export. From this section, you can instantly import or export auction data in CSV or Excel for file format. Click on close to go back to creator software. Here you can check the preview of your auction page. Let's check out page style and color scheme now. From here you can change the page elements, color, font style and font size as per your needs. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to hide page borders. Once you are finished, click on save and continue. That's all from today's session. Thank you for watching.